Okay guys, we managed to find another Galaxy S6 device, still running Android 5, Holy Pop. And we'll make a quick comparison between those two. So let's start with proof of version because someone was telling that we we're basically lying. So as you can see this one is running Android 5.1 and this one is running Android 6. Oh let's just run this, I love it. Yeah, so Wallipop Marshmallow. Enough for this one. Let's kill all the apps and take a look at the UI. Quick access menu, huge difference here. Covers and not limited to quick access to few stuff. You have pretty much the same thing here, but different icons, different background. And you don't have the edit button on Android 6. You have this. Which is really cool. It's, I have it on my Note 4. So when you just swipe with one finger you have this menu. And when you use both fingers you have this menu. So basically extended quick access icons. You don't have it on Android 5. It doesn't matter if you use one or two fingers. Let's check what's in here. So, not big difference right now, but if we scroll down, we can see that, for example, the app section is different. So we have the applications here and here. Looks the same, but here is when it gets interesting, when you go to Applications Manager. You already can see the difference. You have running apps here, all apps, and so on and so on. And when you go to, to more, you have only sort by size and reset app preferences. That's on Android 5. On Android 6, you have you can show or hide the system apps here. You can choose apps to appear on top. And what's interesting and new to Android 6, you can change the application settings. So you can allow or just deny permissions and so on and so on. So we have more control over the apps. Uh, something different is here in the About section. You now have Download Updates manually or Download Updates automatically. You can select when to download the updates. So in this section you can check if there is anything available, but I'm afraid 601 is not there yet. And you have software info, additional section here. It's all put on one place here. Uh, what else? UI. When you go to app drawer, you have search. Again, I have this on my Note 4, but only because I'm using Google Now Launcher, so it's not there by default. Mm. Let's see how much... Uh, no, actually, let's see the RAM management. Let's open a few apps like... I don't know... Mm, Shazam. I don't have this here, so we need the same apps. Okay, let's just go for Play Store. Your office apps like OneNote, then I'm oh, sorry, it's already opened. PowerPoint, Word. Let's see what we have here. Excel. It's not really heavy, the Microsoft apps, but still, we'll give you the idea of what we're trying to do. Okay, so it looks frozen. And Play Store. Oh, what else? We don't care about this right now. YouTube, of course. Yeah, lots of notifications. 
And also this will show us the battery consumption for both devices when they are constantly with screen on. We started in 99-98% representative, so representative so still keeping the same levels. Okay, so we have now few open apps in the background. And let's find out. Mm, I think that Android 5 is really, really faster. So let's open some more. Like the benchmarks. And this benchmark as well. And let's try it now. Oh, actually, let's open the camera up. here yeah I'm picturing this with my note 4 okay still I'm afraid this update is not giving much performance the Android 6 Android 5 looks faster to me and there is no waggy animation also something diff something interesting I noticed here is in contrast they are pretty much on same white table you can see Android 5 is black because there is no light at all under this and this one is kind of blue so let's switch the flash to on no difference, no difference. So far, Android 5 is still showing better results, even in battery consumption. See, we are here on 95, 96. Let's check this here. The estimate here is 11 hours, almost 11 hours and 5 minutes, or 50 minutes, not very clear. Here is pretty much one hour more, if that's 50. Battery usage. Yeah, this is three minutes older, but <laughs> that's not 1% battery. And let's see, estimate on power saving mode. Yes, uh, there is new stuff here as well. As you can see the percentage on status bar. We don't have this here, like an option. Only have show power. Here is show percentage. So it's pretty much doing the same thing, just different name. We have app optimizations. So even the battery life is better on older version of Android. That's not new. We have this on Lollipop. Mm, let's do some benchmark tests. Geekbench is a quicker one, so just run it. As you can see, the devices has pretty much this device has exactly the same hardware as this one. Battery, this one gives less voltage. I guess that's helping battery consumption. But anyway, let's go with this and see the results. But so far looks like, apart from UI changes, there's not much optimization in terms of RAM usage or battery. They added a few animations and probably that's slowing the device down, apart from looking, in my opinion, ugly. Okay, almost there. So if you care for benchmark results, that would be important for you, I guess. Come on. Even the be benchmark test was performed faster on the older Android. Okay. <laughs> that was internet. That was interesting. Internet related issue. Let's do it again. It was funny though that it sends this error on like the end of the test. It didn't start with it. 
I'm not sure if that's no, that's not Android related. It's probably some glitch in the internet connection. Come on. And I think because this video is quite long, we'll finish with benchmark results. Which we should have any minute now. Okay, and okay. Cool, Android 5 has better result than Android 6 on same device. Same version of Geekbench of course, same apps running on background. As you can see, one CPU, eight cores, everything is the same. Okay, so let's see single core results. And multi core results, like with compared to other devices. I hope all this, like Android 6 being slower than 5.1, is because this is still a beta version and we are still waiting for patches. But that's not very promising right now. So I'll leave it to you to decide if you want to upgrade or you will wait until proper patches are like released from Google and we'll finish with this because as I said the video is quite long now mm, if you have any questions put it in the comment section if you are troll or hater I'm sorry but I don't care about you if you have any constructive feedback just again put it in the comment section even if it's negative but stuff like you're stupid this review is shit won't be tolerated and we'll just delete them so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this one and see you in the next one bye